I want to give all the praise and all the glory, all the honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweshai Bahashim, Rikakudash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Um, Inshallah, I'm to the elect brothers pushing the truth with sincerity. Uh, I must start in Malachi 3, but you know, I was reading Malachi 2 and 3. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to do three. I'm going to save two for tomorrow. That chapter, Lord's will. But at least it gives me an idea on what to do tomorrow. Because both those chapters are, are nice. And it's okay. I'm doing in three first and then two. See, that's the spirit. That's how the spirit works, you know. Not necessarily going to be in an order like a regular book. But anyway, let's let's get this in uh, Malachi 3 and 1. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And Yahweh, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith Yahweh of hosts. All right. Verse 2. But who may abide in the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and a like fuller's soap. All right. So he's like, let me read that again. Like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. Yeah, so that fire and that soap both cleanse, cleansing. That's what, that's what Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is the truth, right? He's the light. He's this the reason why we have this knowledge. So, you know, he's he's likened unto um, he's likened unto that refiner's fire and that fuller's soap because it's cleansing. Both this is what this truth does with us. It cleanses us. All right, that's what that that's what that means. Um, real quick. <coughs> Let me just look up something. Yeah. So that word abide, just to go in a little deeper, it, this is what it means. It means um, these are the similar words to to tolerate, put up with, endure, to suffer, to accept, to keep to, hold on to, obey, observe. Those are all similar words that abide means. So who, who may abide the day of his coming, right? Who may endure, who may suffer it, who may... Um, tolerate the day of his coming because you know he's going to come with those chariots they're going to and Yahweh Shai and the chariots the angels they're going to basically uh you know destroy Babylon America and the governments that are that are in power because like in Isaiah I believe it's Isaiah 66 or 63 where he where Yahweh Shai is you know he's ha he it says he has the, the all the many crowns, right? Let me because, because it's represent him destroying those governments. But anyway, let me stick to the topic here in Malachi three and uh, verse three. And he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi. And he the reason why I say it talks about Levi is because Levi is uh, it was you know they were the, the tribe of Levi originally were delegated the uh, the uh, office of the priests, okay? So the Levites were the priests, so he's got to purify the priests, right? Which right now, we're a nation, a royal priesthood, so all the nations, I mean, sorry, all the tribes of the nation of Israel were um, priests, you know, royal priesthood, after Yahweh Shai, right? But before Yahweh Shai, the, the, the priesthood dealt with... Um, you know the Levites. That's why uh, Moses. Moses was a Levite. You see, because because why he was that he was that first priest that led us out of Egypt, ancient Egypt. Anyway, and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto Yahweh an offering in righteousness. See, this is why we have to be, you know, diligent because this we're purging and we're cleansing and we're finding, we're you know we're refining ourselves in the form, you know, to be like Yahweh Shai. 
in that perfect form, you know, righteous, a righteous, uh, you know, being more righteous than, than, you know, all the stuff we've been taught and dealt with previously, you know. This is righteous to understand and know the truth instead of being devoured by, uh, you know, false doctrines, false religions, and so forth and so on. All right, verse 4. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the unto Yahweh, as in the old days and as in the former years. See, for a long time, our people, the, the offerings were um, useless, you know, because Yahweh was pissed at us. You know, our people were busy going off being spiritual whores, you know, following uh, heathen uh, philosophies and doctrines. And um, so our offerings, whenever we made an offering, they're useless. Just like right now, you and if you so-called blacks, Latinos, uh, Native Americans, and you're in the Christian, modern Christian church, you're literally um, offering your kid. You, this says you're sacrificing your kids to uh, devils. Why? Because you, you're teaching your kids the wrong, um, the wrong. Uh, you know, you're not teaching them the truth. They're learning from heathen and pagan, you know, doctrines. So let me let me get this. <clears throat> he don't even accept your prayers Yahweh Don't even hear your prayers When you're in those false doctrines That's why you people are stupid man He has mercy If he, if he, if the only, He's going to have mercy on the elect You know And by now It's 2023 I hope none of the elect Are still in them churches I hope that the elect is closer to being sealed Which we believe You know the elect is Uh it's getting close because we know it's close because once the elect are sealed, hey, this place is done. The the, the World War Three is going to happen. The um, you know return of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and the chariots and the angels are that's all going to come to pass when the elect is sealed according to Revelation seven. Let me see something real quick. So this is a precept because Yahweh, Yahweh don't even, you, you people who are in these false doctrines, you got to understand, Yahweh doesn't even fucking listen to your prayers. He don't listen, he don't accept your offerings, right? He did, even if you're an Israelite, you know, if you're in those false doctrines. This is um, Amos 5 and 21. It says, I hate, I despise your feast days and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard you the peace offerings of your fat beasts. You see that? So Yahweh, and like nowadays, you know, your peace offering, your meat offering, because you're, you're not out there burning up animals, right, as an offering. But you're taking your kids to these modern churches, these modern Christian churches. You take them to the Jehovah's Kingdom Hall. You know, you're taking them to the fucking, uh, what do they call the the mosque? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're taking all these different, um, you know, doctrine, religions here that Babylon gives you. And in, in, in the process, you know, you're, you're sacrificing your kids unto devils, you know? Let me get that real quick. Yeah, let's get let's get it out of Psalms. It's in a few places, but let's get it out of Psalms 106, 37 and 38. <clears throat> yeah, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. You see that? And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrifice unto the idols of Canaan. All right? And the land was polluted with blood. So they... The same thing here in America, all right? This is a land of, uh, you know, this is land of Edom now, you know? When you're sacrificing your, your your kids, your sons, and your daughters to the idols of Edom, you see? To, because America, you know, Amerigo Vespucci was an Edomite, all right? He was an Italian Edomite, which America is named after. And, you know, like, it's plain to see for the elect, we can see that America is, 
this um, is this uh, new land where you you're uh, sacrificing your kids because you're offering them idols of I'll say America or Babylon. See. But anyway, let me go back to Malachi. Malachi three and four. <laughs> I read that. It says, Then shall offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto Yahweh as in the days of old and as in the former years. Because see, our offerings in the days of old, when we were following Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, guess what? The offerings were righteous. But now you're giving, you, you know, you're bringing your kids and, and, and you're sacrificing your kids to devils. You know, you're, if you're in any of these modern churches or these churches that Babylon offers, America Babylon, the great offers, you literally, those are your offering. You're putting your kid on an on a, on a altar, and you're, but you're sacrificing him to a devil, not to, not to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, but see, Yahweh is going to set it up where we're, our, our offering is going to be pleasant as in the, the old days, like it says here in 4. Right, because during the time of Solomon, during the time of King David, King Solomon, that's when our offerings were righteous. Because why? Because the people were in their right mindset. See that? So let's get um, verse 5. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be swift wit a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers, against the false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling and his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that and that turn aside from the stranger from his right and fear not me, saith the Hawa of hosts. You see that? So he's going to judge all these wicked people, which it's going to be the two-thirds. It's going to be the heathen. You know, it's going to be all these people that are d involved in all this wickedness, sorcery, right? Like Christianity, modern Christianity, that's sorcery. You know, that's putting a spell, that's putting a, a brain, a, a mindset on your people. So that's the same thing, a sorcerer, you know? Adultery says adulterers. So these are spiritual adulterers and physical adulterers. You, know, you women who are fucking men who are, are not your husband, you know, or you you men that are fucking women that ain't that that are married. You know, you're fucking adulterers, and you're gonna be destroyed for that sin. You see, you're not of the elect if you're out here committing adultery. See, if you're out here um, fucking other um, men's wives and shit. You know, let's get to. Uh, See. Verse 6 For I am Yahweh, I change not Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed Alright, so Even in all our wickedness You know, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Yahweh has mercy on us You see And great mercy because we're not going to be consumed And that's really dealing with the elect The elect are going to be redeemed You know, because we're not perfect Lord's will, I'm in the, that number But we're not perfect, but you know, we're in the flesh but we're perfect in this truth because we're, we, you know, we're striving for perfection with the understanding of, of the scriptures and we're doing the work diligently. You know, those who are doing that, you're making your uh, election um, sure, you know, you're making your, yeah, you're making your election sure. You're, you're basically making yourself, trying to make yourself worthy to be of the elect. That's why we do these videos, man. This is like a, us begging. The word pray, it means to beg. So we're literally like praying and begging that Yahweh Bashem Yahshai considers us part of the elect, right? And it's all preordained, so even if, you know what I mean, you could be diligent, and that would be a bad situation, but someone who's diligent, but they're not of the elect, you see? But Lord's will, you know, that's, that's, that's what it is, you know, to make us the elect. But let's see, because you got people that have been in the truth for years and they fall out. You know, they're diligent for 10, 15 years. I've heard these stories, you know, according to the elders and the other brothers who have been in the truth a while. They fell out and hey, that that's a, uh, they take their hand off the plow. They're not of the elect, you know. Verse uh, 7. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances and ye have not kept them. Return unto me and I will return unto you. He saith, the Lord of hosts, but ye said, wherein shall we return? 
See, so that's that's a beautiful verse right there. Return unto me, and I'm going to return unto you. So that's what we're doing. The men of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, we are returning to, to, to him. We're trying to learn his ordinances, keep his ordinances to the best of our ability in our captivity. You see? And we're going to be rewarded, Lord's will. You see? Verse 8. Will a man rob the Most High? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings? Ye are cursed. So these people, you know, our people don't think that they're being wicked. Because they're so in such strong delusion that they don't even realize that they're committing spiritual whoredom in these other doctrines, right? If they're not, if they're not calling on Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, they ain't got nothing, man. Literally, their whole their whole life is a waste of time. At this point, if you're an, uh, uh, an Israelite, you're, you know, your your life is a waste of time until you get sacrificed. If you're a part of the two thirds, that's going to be a, you know. A burnt offering on the day of judgment, on the day of wrath. Hey, you know, that's what it is. You're cursed. Let's read nine. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes unto the storehouses, or to the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, and there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. And who's the devourer? The devourer is Esau Edom. That's why he's devouring our people with all those um, false doctrines, giving them them false beliefs, a, a false belief system. You know, teaching them lies, teaching them things that are not according to the the scripture. You see. There's so many things that comes to mind when, when, when we think about all the lies that Esau put on our people. And you, you fucking two-thirds, you, you are so fucking, that thing is so engraved in your mind that it's seared like a hot iron, the scripture says, in your mind. Let me get that real quick. Because that's how fucking, that's how fucking brainwashed you are in wickedness, you see? Brainwashing is not, not necessarily bad, you know, but if it's in righteousness, you know, if it's in the truth... It's okay to be, you You should be brainwashed in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But when you're brainwashed in a false doctrine, a false philosophy, man, that's that's the end of your ass, right? Let's get that. Because <laughs> a lot of you fucking Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have these, the white man or the Edomites doctrines fucking seared in your fucking brain. And it's just nothing but pollution in your head. This is Timothy, 1 Timothy 4 and 2. It says, Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. See, your conscience is so delusioned, you're, it's, it's seared in your brain like a hot iron. And you're just fucked, basically. You see? You're a hypocrite. You know, you say you want to be religious, you say you want to be spiritual, but yet you're being doing those things you know, you're, you're under sorcery or you're under witchcraft, you know. You got to be in this truth. Anything outside of this truth, anything outside of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is, uh, is a falsehood. This is basically, uh, you know, you're fucked, all right? There's no other way to say it. Um, now let me, I, I should have read uh, four and one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. See that? See, you're fucking, that's what you're doing. You're speaking, you, you, you're, uh, modern Christianity is a doctrine of a devil, all right? Jehovah's wickedness, Jehovah's witnesses, those are, that's a doctrine of the devil. The Quran, the mosque, Islam, that's a doctrine of a devil, right? Um, fucking uh, Latter-day Saints, those Mormons, that's a doctrine of a devil, all right? That ain't, they're not calling on Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, and any of those religions I just brought up, right? So that's a, that's a doctrine of a devil. You, if you're not dealing with Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, you're dealing with a devil's doctrine, Okay? And speaking lies and hypocrisy, having your conscience seared with a hot iron. Your conscience is seared with a hot iron with all that falsehood, with all, with all those false teachings. See? 
You got men who understand this truth that the Lord put a spirit on us, and we're uh, teaching you, like it says in Jeremiah three fifteen, according, you know, with now we're teaching you the truth according to the mind. We're like minded with Yahweh, and we're feeding you with knowledge and understanding. Okay. I mean, if if you can't see it, it's because you're not of the elect. And for one, you're not of the elect. For two, you're not diligent. You don't look into things. You don't do the research. You don't read the book. And when you read the book, it tells you that the, the spirit converts the soul, which the words in your book, in the book, is what's when you read it and, it, and the spirit's dealing with you, then you're going to have that, okay? So you know what? I'm going to have to close this because uh, I, I forgot there's a dude, a repair guy coming in. Um, so I'm going to close it out with you. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai. Um, honor the brothers, or double honors to the elders, and also honor the brothers who are um, teaching with sincerity. Shalom to the elect. Had to close it. These people are at the door. So Shalom, brothers. Keep pushing.